What's up everybody? So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a hidden angle so that you can throw say an Aggie easier than you ever thought possible. Let's get into this video. What's up everybody? So today we're gonna to be talking about the hidden angle to your say an Aggie. Now the reason for this video is a lot of people try to figure out how to do say an Aggie shuffling sideways. Okay, we all know basic say an Aggie where, we're here, go ahead and hold my sleeve, go ahead and hold there. We all know the basic say an Aggie where we boom, we get them off balance, and we throw them to the forward direction, right? But there's a hidden angle here that you can find where when you're in this position, okay, left on right or right on right, it doesn't matter, but you move with your back leg first, okay? So rather than trying to pull him off balance and fit in at the same time, what you can do is you can throw them off at this angle where instead of going to the sideways or straight back, I'm gonna hit the 45 degree angle and my right hand is gonna do that. So when I'm here at the angle, one, one, two, and you can see that my right hand, when I go to fit into the position, it pulls his back leg towards me. If we change, and now we're going to this angle back here, right? When I step in, let's go right on the line for me. There you go. When I step in and I cut that angle, boom, it pulls him right into the direction of the throw. So what you can do is you can snap and pull, snap, pull, enter, boom, and hit the 45 degree angle. It is super common amongst high level judo players, international players, Japanese players, to do their drop seos and their opposite side of judo, throwing off at this angle when they're moving and they feel like they can't get in, give me some resistance, and they feel like they can't get in, that when they open, bang, it cuts the angle for them, right? Here moving, they can't get in, boom. Throw them right off to the corner. Now, with your right-handed judo player, it's done a little bit differently, but same concept now. You're controlling the sleeve, you're dominating the sleeve grip, right? He's got your collar, you're underneath, but he's got his right foot forward. Well, obviously you can't just throw him off at that angle. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna snap, snap and hit your coach to get him to take that step back, boom. And now that my right foot is on the floor, what I would do is I would push one, two, and I would go off at that angle. So if we move this way a little bit, right, snap, Move that hand to the outside, get that foot to step back, run through the throw, boom. Pull him off at the angle. Okay, let's take a look at it one more time. Right on right now, I can't just go straight into it. I've got to run through my partner, okay? Boom. Stepping, throwing, and finishing the throw. Okay, hidden angle to say an Aggie. There you have it, I hope you guys enjoyed that. The left on right, super helpful, but right on right, even more helpful. Cause I know you're just like me and you're gonna struggle with that right on right say an Aggie style. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking to improve even more, check out the next video coming up.